Hey guys, another trip to the thrift video. Um, nothing much to say. Like the video, subscribe if you're new here. Follow my Instagram and my Depop. Mission be on my Instagram if you are interested in wholesale. I should have another wholesale video out this weekend um, on Sunday at half seven. Um, and this video is obviously out on the Wednesday, I think. Um, so yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe when you're here. Message me on Instagram if you are interested. And I'll sort of just show you all the things that I find at the car boot. And then we'll shoot back home and we'll go through everything that I found. I won't do an outro to the car boot. I'll just go straight into being at home. So yeah, enjoy the video. Another one, is it? Thank you. How much do you want on them? Um, How much are the caps? Uh, just two of them. Three quid for the two. Take two. Take more for three quid. Mine seems his rules today. You think so? I don't. I don't know what I think they're going wrong. <laughs> The shorts. Uh, I want a fiver for it. Pound, mate. Pound. Right, we're back home. We're gonna go through everything that I found. We're gonna start with the tees and sort of work our way through it. Um, the first tee is one that I found, and then all of the others are ones that my girlfriend found. Um, I think most of them cost like one or two quid a piece. Starting off with the first one. This is the only one that I found. Um, just an older sort of Ralph Lauren one. You can see by the tag. I paid 50p for that. Um, it's got a few marks, definitely is a little wash, but 10 to 15 pound you get on that. I reckon with most of these tees, you'll get 10 to 15 pound each. The rest of the tees were all found by my girlfriend. Um, this is a Lazy Days tee. You've just got those two on the front fishing. Oh, that's the back actually. 
and then that's the front. Then we've got like a sort of a workout long sleeve. It's a 49ers one, um, bit of a new age one, but again, 10 to 15. Same again on this one, um, but with a different team. It's like that breathable kind of material, um, mostly for gym, I think. Then we've got a guest jeans t-shirt, very low key. That's the tag. I think it has got a hit somewhere just down there at the bottom. Then there's a little champion spell out, fully embroidered. Again, it was like one pound into probably like 10, 15. And then the final one is a new age Snoop Dogg t-shirt um, on the old Fruit of the Loom classic tag there, uh, which again, costs like one pound and should get like 10 to 15 pound for it. Next, we've got all the sweatshirts and the jumpers. This first one I found myself and it's actually a really nice colorway. You don't see too many with that different color around the neck. Um, but it's obviously just got the pony on the front. I paid two or three pound for it, I think, from some sort of dealer. I think she was a dealer, but she had lots of clothing, um, lots of jeans, uh, but I just found this on the rail as soon as she put it up. They usually go for around 25, I think, on Depop. Um, but to be fair, my girlfriend sold an orange one for 40 pound, I think, last week. I asked her what address it was, and it was like a Surrey address. Um, but yeah, I reckon I'll get around 25 to 35 on it. I think I can tax a little bit more, just because of the colorway and that sort of nice neck. Then we got the Umbro fleece. Unfortunately, it is a V-neck, uh, but I paid 50p for that. Should get around 15 to 25. Then we got another Ralph Lauren hoodie, which I got from the same lady as the other Ralph Lauren knit. Um, but it's just a hoodie. I think I paid four pound for this. It needs a bit of a wash, it's a bit faded. Um, but again, should be 15 to 25. And then the final one is this nice shot hoodie. It's just got that little hit above the pocket there. And then it's got like a big sort of printed spell out on the back. Next, we've got a couple of bomber jackets. Um, there's not too much of a story to them. I got them from an old guy. Um, I'm trying to think what he said. I think he just had them back in the day and just loved sort of country music. Uh, but that's just the front hit. It has got the Confederate flag, which I'm not too sure if I should show on um, YouTube. And then that is the back hit. It's like sort of a cheapy um, screen print, but it has stuck on quite well. I ended up paying £30 for the two. He didn't really want to haggle, um, but he was a really nice guy. So he worked his magic on me and I ended up just paying full price. Uh, but this is the other one. This is the front sort of hit and it's just got a big eagle on the back. Uh, but I figured I'd get like £30 at least on one of them and then the rest of it will be profit. This next item my girlfriend actually found. Uh, I think she paid a tenner for it. Um, it is brand new with tags, so I thought that was pretty fair. Um, I have no clue about ice hockey, so if anyone knows what the team is, just comment down below. Um, but that's the front of it, and then it's plain on the back, unfortunately. But yeah, I think that's all right for £10. Um, I don't know what they go for. I'll have to have a look on Depop. These next two items are actually a set. It is a full Reebok tracksuit, matching tracksuit. It's just got that little hit on the front there. I think that's the 2000s Reebok stuff. Um, looking at the tag, uh, but that's the front, that's the back, and then it has got the matching bottoms. That's them there. And then they're sort of just like sort of baby blue on the back. Uh, but I paid eight pound for the set, which I thought was really fair. Um, you can get like fifteen to twenty pound for just the jacket alone. I reckon I'll just keep that as a set. Um, I think I've got like six or seven tracksuits over there just hanging up for no reason. They are not all Nike ones, but I want to save them for like pop ups and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's another one to just add to the rail. Then we got a few accessories, uh, which are really good. First, I got these three hats, um, well, three caps. I've just realized that this is sort of disintegrating. Uh, but the first one is an England one, which will probably be thrown out because you can't really, yeah, that's very old. Um, or it's just been left out in the weather. So that one will be thrown away. I didn't want to buy it anyway, but he said three pound for the three or three pound for these two. Uh, but next one is just this Nike one which is a white tag, mid nineties white tag with the green brim. Um, so that one there, and then the other one is another white tag with a nice spell out on the front, uh, nothing on the back, but again, really good cap. And yeah, you should get like 15 to 25, I think on that. This one's a little bit worn and needs a bit of a clean, but I reckon 20 to 25 pound is pretty fair for that. Maybe a little bit more and then probably like 15 to 20 pound on the standard swoosh one. The final accessory was again found by my girlfriend. They are baby shoes and they are Air Max BWs. Um, they are super sick. I think they're from 2008. Let me just check, 2007, um, just super sick. My favorite thing is like the inside is like tartan. It's a pink tartan. Um, but yeah, I think she paid a fiver for them, which I will pay all day. 
uh, just super cool and they're in really good condition. Again, they're just gonna be put on display and added to the kids' clothing collection. Now finishing off with the bottom half bits, I think again, three of them were found by my girlfriend and then a couple of them by myself. Uh, but the first are these cord Armani jeans. Super nice, really clean. I think they'll go for like 20 to 25 pound all day long on Depop. I think she paid a fiver for them, um, which I think is pretty fair. They're just a really nice thin sort of cord pattern. Then she found these Nike shorts. I think there's like a pound or two into like 15. I found these Umbro 90s shorts on the old blue tag. Again, they were like one pound or 50p into 10, 15 pounds. Finally, we are moving on to the best bottom half bits that I've ever found. Um, well, I didn't find this pair. My girlfriend found this pair, um, which is actually a Scort, um, which I was a little bit sad about because I didn't realize it was Scort until I actually got home. Um, I thought they were the shorts, uh, but that is a tag. Super sick to find in the UK. Still got the elastic on them, um, just wild. I think she paid a tenner for them. Um, so whether the seller knew what they were or knew something about them, I have no clue, but it's just got that Nike hit on the bottom there. And then obviously the super nice tag. And then it's got the inside classic legs of the Agassi stuff. Um, super sick. I was so hyped when she found them and showed them to me. Um, but yeah, that's that pair. And then we got the final pair that I actually found myself. Um, I bought them for a pound. Uh, I think you can actually hear in the audio um, earlier on in the video, uh, but they are a mid nineties white tag pair of Nike shorts. Best pattern ever. Um, look at that sort of hit on their leg. Super sick. I love this sort of stuff. Um, and the fact that I found it for a pound makes it even better. They are a size medium, but I think the elastic's gone a little bit on them. Um, but they fit me nicely, so they're going to be kept for myself. Um, they are just super sick. They are just super sick. I was super happy to find them. I don't think I would have known them or recognised them if I hadn't seen them on other shops. Uh, but I just recognised this pattern. And I think I was looking at them maybe a month or two ago. But for a pound, they are just so sick. And um, will be kept for myself. They're just perfect for summer. And yeah, really good timing for them. That is it for everything I found today. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, um, press the bell icon to get notified when I post a video. And yeah, like, subscribe, all of that. Follow my Instagram, I'm a Depop. Message me on my Instagram if you are interested in wholesale. I had my first two hand pickers in last week. Um, got another returning customer next week. Sold a few things today, so yeah, it's going really well. And there should be a video out this Sunday uh, at half seven, another sort of wholesale one. Uh, I think it's going to be like sort of a week in the life, just showing what I'm up to really. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.